the speed of the club's uh, proposed move for Matthew Connolly, please? Yeah, as it's not happening at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it happens to uh, what ha happens during the course of the rest of the transfer window. Obviously, he was up. Um, medicals carrying on, but uh, as it stands at this moment in time, it's uh, it's not happening. He's back at Cardiff, um, and uh, that's all I can say on it, really. What are the reasons? Then? I can't. I can't. So close. Yeah, it's close, but it's not dead. No. But obviously, it's um, he's back at Cardiff. Um, and that's all, that's all we can say, and it's got nothing to do with money or anything like that. Uh, he hasn't failed a medical, so it's it's just something that's just, um, he's just all been well. Um, he's doing he's doing a bit more down at uh, Cardiff, and we'll just take it from there. The Cardiff need him for now, is a suggestion of Sean Morrison? Well, I, as I said, I'm not at liberty to, to say any more than that. You know, the, um, Matthew Connolly, um, having spoke to him, excellent young man, he come with a great character reference and you can see that's what he's got, vast experience as well. So he's a good person, um, obviously these things sometimes happen and uh, you know, obviously you guys have disclosed that we were going to it with him to start off with and all sorts of things go on but um, as it stands at this moment in time, you know, he's not joining us but that's not to say that he won't join us. In the meantime. Well, obviously we're looking at all all conundrums, um, especially as the closer the deadline comes to the the window uh, closing. Uh, as I said, most deals are done in the last two days as well, aren't they? When it's just a, a big furrow of uh, things going on. Um, anything before the weekend? Would you envisage? We'll have to see. I've, I mean, there's a there's things going on behind the scenes, uh, and again. As I've said, until someone signs on the dotted line, then nothing's confirmed in or out. As I said, we're not looking to let any of the key players go, uh, which is important. Uh, it's a great statement from the football club. Um, and, you know, as I said, we've, we did ever so well in the last game. And we're looking forward to what's going to be a very challenging game against Aston Villa at the weekend, who are going to look to respond from the last two defeats and performances. The managers obviously would have, he talked about how low it's been for him. Um, after last week's game, so you can imagine that, uh, and we're, you know, the players are well aware of it. We've talked about it. You know, this is going to be a tough, tough game where Aston Villa are going to come out and they're going to show a lot of energy and a lot of passion because that will be de demanded of by the Aston Villa supporters at home, uh, and they've got to respond. So we're well aware what to expect. Obviously, we do our research as we do with all of the teams. You know, Sun Tzu, the art of war. Um, and uh, we're very good at that. And uh, but then it's come game day. Come on, come on, fellas. Let's uh, crack it on. And the lads have been doing great so far. Um, we're over halfway through the window without adding to the squad. Is there any frustrations from you, or are you just happy to stay patient? Well, we need to get the right people in. I mean, we said we're going to bring a couple, uh, two or three, because we've got a good group of players, and it's important we don't disrupt that. Um, who are in good form. Playing really well. Saturday's performance against Sheffield Wednesday was I was really pleased with. You know, it's getting to where I want us to be going. Uh, the spirit amongst the players is really good, and we got players in excellent form. So we want to add, we want to we want to improve the group if we can. Uh, but it's making sure that we bring the right people in because I've talked about the culture that we have at our football club, the environment we have at our football club, and I think that's very very important. And it's making sure that now we've got. Oh, we're in a situation that we've got a very good training environment, a very good culture. The people who come into this culture have to be the right characters as well, not just as football players. Because of how well you're playing, does that dilute the, the need to rush into anything? We, we need to bring the right players in to bolster the squad. Uh, I've made that perfectly clear from the beginning. We still Our desire is still to bring two or three in who are the right people who are going to Im improve or bolster the squad of players that we've got who are playing extremely well. Uh, again, character is an important thing. The owners have been very good where they've turned around and said that they're back in the, the club in respect of not losing the key players. So that's, that's an important message, not to lose those players, but likewise to add to, to the group that we've got. And, uh, and things are going on, as I said, until, until a piece of paper is signed, um, that's, the, that's the reality of it. And that's not to say that something might, won't be done before the weekend. Right. Um, I know you, the club's made it clear that you don't want to lose anyone, but has there been any bids, uh, anything to tempt you? That was a teacup moment, think correctly before you answer. As far as, far as I'm aware, we've not had any bids um, for the players. The club have made it perfectly clear they're not looking for any of the players to um, to depart. And I think that's really positive news. Do, do 
Is anyone settled by it all? I keep seeing Jared Bowen making national headlines. Do you, do you, see, do you find it easy to sort of shrug it off? I've, I've spoke with Jared. I've spoke with the, the, the group and I've spoke with the... Um, several of the guys individually about this situation they all seem to have a smile on the face we got asked the same question about Camille the training Tuesday was we video all our training sessions as well the training on Tuesday was absolutely phenomenal great session again this morning the camaraderie spot on the quality they're all the players are all giving everything they've got and they can smell it as well and we've got something going on and we need to keep that momentum going and to keep the momentum going we've got to keep working on our performance the culture that we have at the training ground the environment and then like when the guys cross that white line go and perform and they're all in good places at this moment in time uh, and long may that continue check on the keep he had in last week Miranda. is he still here or he's trained with us he's trained with us this morning now so he's been in so um i don't know where that's going to progress to um, but as I said, from our point of view, David Marshall, George Long, um, Calvin's back with us as well now as well. Excellent goalkeepers. We're not looking for them to move on. So as I say, it was a great, it's a good opportunity to have a look at a goalkeeper who's who's not with a club at this moment in time. Okay, I've got to ask you about the Marcello Bielsa and Spygate thing. Um, you don't have to. I do. <laughs> he, he's, um, he's, he's admitted that he's scouted every team that they played this season, which will include yourself twice. What was your reaction when you heard that? Well, we scout every team as well. But when you talk about when he's obviously sent somebody to the training ground, and obviously it didn't work when we played them. We, one, we weren't in Christmas day, Christmas day. Two, I'm pretty sure he, he wouldn't have uh, realised that Will Keane was going to go and play. And obviously we won the game. Mm. Have you ever spied on an opposition team? I'd say, Sun Tzu, the art of war. It's very, very important you research into the opposition. And uh, we spend a lot of time. We've got a really good analysis department here. Uh, we always watch the games. So that gives you a good un idea of, of patterns of play and how players are going to be. Press conferences like this, obviously we watch opposition's press conferences to see if the manager turns around and says, this player is not fit or this player's got an injury or this player might be out. We have scouts going to games and again, you've got a, you're visually looking to see if somebody's struggling with something. Um, players all talk, you know. Um, who is that? Oh, that might be a signing. <laughs> oh, no, deal or no deal, who's that? Who's that? Who's the guy who did that? Deal or no deal? It's the banker on the phone. <laughs> I'm not changing the subject. However, listen, it's um, we do a lot of research into um, the opposition. I think that's very, very important. You try and equip the players with the what if scenarios, understanding the opposition. From my point of view, you look at the tactic side of it as well when you're thinking, right, well, you've got mismatches on, on the pitch. Um, you know, we, we, we've gone through a lot of Ast uh, Aston Villa, for example, so we know they've got many, many strengths. But likewise, we've got strengths, so can we utilise our strengths? Um, we played Leeds United, so keeping it topical. We knew there could be a few little issues during the course of the game, and if you noticed, after probably half an hour, we changed our wingers over because we knew sometimes defensively you've got um, Jared might have done a better defensive job than Camille, for example. Where they changed there, they've got to put two wingers in the fullback positions. Now, interesting was it the Derby game? All of a sudden, Alioski's played fullback. Was that because they knew that Wilson wasn't playing? I don't know. So sometimes the technical change of the manager, you know. Uh, but we do a lot of research. And um, our gates are open at the training ground. I always say that, supporters can come and watch. And nine times out of ten, you've got a pretty good idea of what the opposition team's going to be in respect of the changes from previous games. Managers talking in press conferences who's likely to be out, about injured. Um, so you've got a bit, of a bit of an idea. And obviously, you're looking at what you're doing. Uh, but you do go through the what if scenarios. So, for example, it's, uh, we played Queen's Park Rangers this season away. And we knew that if we didn't know whether Smith was going to start or not start, what would we do if he started, the big centre forward? And we knew that, so he wasn't starting, we knew that if he was going to come on the pitch and then make a change, we'd make a change straight away to combat that because it was a massive threat. Um, and we've gone and done that. So, we, so again, preparation was a big thing. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, because again, it's about winning them individual one-on-one -on -one battles as well. I get the impression you haven't got any great issue with it then. I haven't done it. Uh, we haven't gone to watch the opposition. I've not sent anybody to go and watch the opposition training. We go and watch the opposition uh, play. Um, the gates are open. There's a lot of video footage out now. So, for example, our own departments put video footage out of training sessions. You know, now we'll 
that's why we just say just come and do the the, the warm up period of it. But even that, you can say, well, is this player out training or he's not a player? And, you know, little things like that. So although we're trying to help everybody, you analyse it and you look at it, but you have a, you have a bit of an idea. Now, you know, if, if that's his preference, that's his preference. I don't think there's a need to go and do it because I think there's enough stuff out there going on anyway. Moving on, um, injuries, any fresh concerns for the weekend? We're not going to let anybody know what they're <laughs> I'll smile, Rob. Yeah. Um, the only two that have uh, not trained um, this week was oh well, the only two that I'm not going to select for the weekend or have in mind for select for the weekend is James Weir and Angus McDonald. Everybody else is in the mix, uh, which is great. I, I guess last weekend you had a slight concern over Fraser's fitness. Would you be happy to start him this weekend? Is he in the position? Yes, he's, Fraser's trained really well this week.